good morning boys and girls today we are going to discuss in the an important concept is microsporogenesis in that microsporogenesis mostly we have discussed how to develop the pollen grains from the anther you know that anther in previous classes already you have heard the structure of anther first of all what is meant by microsporogenesis here the process of formation of microspores from microspore mother cell through meiosis division is called microsporogenesis in that microsporogenesis For the formation of the microspores, which divisions are required? Here, first of all, in angiospermic plants, two types of the anther are present. First one is called dicotyledonous anther. Second one is called monotyledonous anther. This is one dicotyledonous anther. In that dicotyledonous anther. two rows are present two thickas are present in each row two microsporangium are present totally two rows are present in that two rows totally four microsporangium were four pollen sacs are present here this is not equal to one dicotyledonous anther This is one microsporangium. This is one microsporangium. This is one microsporangium. This is one microsporangium. When when the anther is yet a group of compactly arranged homogeneous cells are called sporogenous cells occupy the center of Each microsporangium. The quality of the sporogenous cells is diploid. You know that the sporogenous cells are developed from the primary sporogenous tissue. The primary sporogenous tissue developed from the archaeosporial cells. The archaeosporial cells are located. Each corners of the anther, the archaeosporial cells are located each corners of the anther. Right here, this is sporogenous cells. The sporogenous cells it undergoes mitotic division to form two microspore mother cell or two pollen mother cells. The quality of the microspore mother cell is diploid. The microspore mother cell or the pollen mother cell cell developed from the sporogenous cells through the mitotic division. How many pollen mother cells are developed? Two pollen mother cells are developed. Next one. Here, two pollen mother cells are developed. Here we have discussed only one pollen mother cell or one microspore mother cell. Yes, the anther is matured. The pollen, the the microspore mother cell or the pollen mother cell, it undergoes meiotic division to form pollen tetrod or a microspore tetrod. The ploidy of the tetrod is haploid. The haploid condition is represented by the N. The haploid condition is represented by the N. Generally, in angiospermic plants, different types of the tetrods are formed. First one, this is nothing but tetrahed, tetrahedral tetrod, tetrahed, tetrod. Hexagonal tetrod is mostly present in dicotyled plants. Second one is isobilateral tetrod. 
the isovaleal tetras are most be present in monocots taurines dexep tetra dexep tetra is present in magnolia portones t shaped tetra it is most be seen in arsilopia and the last one is linear shaped tetra the linear shaped tetra is seen in halopilla halopilla among the five types of the tetras the most common type of the tetras is present in all angiosperm plant is tetrahedral tetra among the five types of the tetras tetrahedral tetra is commonly present in all angiosperm plants here this is a tip to one tetrahedral tetra in the tetrahedral tetra here are approximately three polar rays are appear when is the one more polar ray the fourth polar ray is located back side of the tetra here yet this stage yet this stage the microspores are appears as a cluster of four cells the microspores are arranged in a cluster of four cells yes they are called microspore tetrad or a pollen tetrad yet this stage the four pollen rays are the four pollen rays are attached to each other with the help of callose layer with the help of callose layer callose layer generally yes the anther matured the callose layer is disappeared by disappeared by callose callase enzyme callase enzyme callase enzyme is synthesized by the tapetum 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 is a inner most layer of the anther the tapet tapetum is a inner most layer of the anther from the tapetum callose enzyme is synthesized the main important functions of the callose enzyme is here degenerate the callose layer due to the degenerations of the callose layer the four polar rays are separated to each other and developed into polar grains totally how many polar grains are formed four polar grains are formed one more name of the polar grain is microspore here the microspore mother cell it undergoes one meiotic division to form four pollen grain or a four microspores the body of the pollen grain is haploid next one generally in this way in this way thousands of the pollen mother cells are developed in the inside of each microsporangium later yet the anther mature these pollen these pollen grains are dehiscent from the anther next one here from the pollen grain how to develop the male gametes here see so totally how many pollen grains are developed four pollen grains are developed here this is one pollen grain the pollen grain it undergoes two mitotic division to form two male gametes the pollen grain it undergoes two mitotic division to form two male gametes totally how many pollen grains are developed four pollen grains from the four pollen grains how many male gametes are formed from the four pollen grains totally eight male gametes are formed the ploidy of the male gamete is haploid the ploidy of the male gamete is haploid 
for the formations of the eight merit levels. How many minority divisions are required? Eight minority divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight minority divisions are required for the formations of eight male gametes. For the formations of the four pollen grains, how many spindle fibers are involved? Three spindle fibers. For the formations of the four pollen grains, how many meiotic divisions are involved? One. For the formations of the eight male gametes, how many spindle fibers are involved? Eight spindle fibers. For the formations of the eight male gametes, how many mitotic divisions are involved? Eight mitotic divisions. This is a very, 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 very important concept. In that microsporogy, different types of the problems are also asked in neat examination as well as a CD examination. Now we have discussed the different problems based on microsporogenesis. This is nothing but one flowchart. This flowchart is represent the entire concept of microsporogenesis already. Already we have heard the here the flowchart of microsporogenesis. First of all. The first of all, the first question is how many meiotic divisions are required for the formations of four pollen grains? For the formations of four pollen grains, how many meiotic divisions are required? One meiotic division. Second question is how many meiotic divisions are required for the formations of 100 pollen grains, 1 meiotic division, 4 pollen grains. 100 pollen grains, how many meiotic divisions are required? That's why 100 by 4, 25 meiotic divisions are required for the formations of 100 pollen grains. Third one is, how many meiotic divisions are required? For the formations of eight male gametes. See, so this is a flowchart. In that flowchart, for the formations of eight male gametes, how many meiotic divisions are required? One meiotic division. Next one, fourth problem is how many meiotic divisions are required for the formations of 100 male gametes? One meiotic division, eight male gametes. For the formations of 100 male gametes, how many meiotic divisions are required? 100 by 8. Approximately 12.5 meiotic divisions are formed, but the meiotic divisions are not considered as a point, must and should take in a Yabo number, not below number. The Yabo number is 13. That's why 13 meiotic divisions are required for the formations of 100 male gametes. Very, very, very simple okay, answers. In examination, the pollen grains are given. Find out the meiotic division. The given number of the pollen grain by 4. In examination, the male gametes are given. Find out the meiotic division. The given male gametes by age, we will find out the meiotic divisions. The next problem is how many meiotic and mitotic divisions are required for that formation of eight male gametes. For the formations of eight male gametes, how many meiotic divisions and how many mitotic divisions are required? One meiotic division, eight mitotic divisions. 
This is the fifth question. For that formations of eight male gametes, how many meiotic and how many mitotic divisions are required? One meiotic division and eight mitotic divisions. Sixth question. How many mitotic divisions are required for the formations of one male gamete? One male gamete, one mitotic division is required. Seventh question. How many mitotic divisions are required for the formations of 100 male gametes? One male gamete, one mitotic division. 100 male gametes, 100 mitotic divisions are required. The next problem is the ratio between number of meiotic and mitotic divisions are required for formations of 800 male gametes. The ratio between number of meiotic and mitotic divisions are required for formations of 800 male gametes. One meiotic division, eight male gametes are formed. For that formations of 800 male gametes, how many meiotic divisions are required? 800 by 8, 100 meiotic divisions are required for that formations of 800 male gametes. One mitotic division, one male gametes. For that formations of 800 male gametes, how many mitotic divisions are required? 800 by 1. 800 by 1. 800 mitotic division. The ratio between meiotic and mitotic division for the formations of 800 male gametes. 1 is to 8. This is the 8th problem. The ninth problem is total number of spindle operators formed during the development of 8 male gametes from the microscope mother cell in the angiosomies. Total number of spindle operators I developed for the formations of 8 male gametes from the microspore mother cell is. This is nothing but the microspore mother cell. The microspore mother cell it undergoes one meiotic division. Four pollen grains are found. In that meiosis division, two types of the divisions are present. Meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. In that meiosis 1, two cells are found. One spindle fiber is found. In meiosis 2, four cells are found. Two spindle fibers are found. That's why totally how many spindle fibers are involved for the formations of four pollen grains, three spindle fibers. Each and every pollen grain, it undergoes two mitotic division to form two male gametes. For the formations of one male gamete, one spindle fiber is required. Totally how many mitotic divisions are required? Eight mitotic division. For the formations of eight mitotic division, how many spindle fibers are required? Eight spindle fibers are involved. In meiosis division, three spindle fibers. In, mitot in eight mitotic division, eight spindle fibers. Total number of spindle operators found during the development of eight male gametes from the microspore mother cell in angiosomies. In meiosis three, in eight mitotic eight spindle fibers, totally. 3 plus 8, 11 spindle fibers are involved for the formations of 8 male gametes from microspore mother cell in angiosperms. These are important problems involved in microsporogenesis. These problems are asked in some of the, okay, sorry, asked in need examination as well as seed examination. Please properly, thoroughly. Practice the 
these problems 